So let's go through these images real quick. Now the lens that I used here was an 85 millimeter f1.4 and uh, these were all shot on manual mode of all things uh, and I'll explain why as I'm going through it. The um, manual mode actually does work on the OLED viewfinder because in your eyepiece you can actually use your thumb wheels to change the brightness or the exposure of every image as it's going by and I actually find that you have a lot more creative control on the fly when you're doing something like that so these were all shot at ISO 800 and I'll just go through these very quickly so what I've done here is I have it on continuous tracking high speed drive mode and so I've turned on face recognition and object tracking and this is wide open at f1.4 and you can see what happens is that what the camera is doing is it's tracking the face now every once in a while it'll get it wrong because like a hand will go into it and then that that hand is now in the shot but at 12 frames per second you uh, definitely have a lot more that you can choose from so that's what's kind of neat is if you're in the middle of a moment and the kids are just kind of going a little bit nutty then you can it's almost like shooting a video actually because the camera goes so fast goes that you can just go in here and just kind of like whap these shots and now here you see that the hand has actually been been caught because it's so far in front of it and that one, I think the object tracking went over the face recognition. The face, the face tracking is really kind of cool though because as you're going through you'll see that there's a little green dot that goes around the actual face and as the face moves around within the frame you'll see the focus point actually go onto the face itself. And it's pretty accurate because I'm as very very close, 85 millimeter lens, wide open at f1.4 and I'm getting this kind of sharpness on many many of the shots. Now there's a few that might be soft like that one right there is soft but the kids moving I mean, the kids moving really fast so the camera is catching it but if you've ever shot video and you like a real high quality video and you notice how the cameras go you'll see that they kinda look like that right where it's like and they kind of move like that that's basically the type of photography that I'm talking about with a camera that has an OLED sensor uh, shooting that that kind of speed and now here's another thing face tracking and object tracking is not possible on an optical viewfinder because this is just like video you know when you're on even your iPhone you'll see that on your iPhone it'll move around and it'll uh, select a focus point for you well that's simply because you have the uh, the digital display on. With an optical display it's up to your thumb uh, to choose which spot that you want to have it focus on or it's up to uh, if you put it on continuous focusing mode and let it do the um, the matrix metering where it picks the focus point for you. I found that in Canon and Icon systems it always picks the closest thing because it obviously doesn't know what a face is because it's an optical tracking device. So to make it clear what's happening is this. In an optical world where you're shooting through an eyepiece, an optical eyepiece, the eyepiece is basically uh, concentrating on whatever focus points that the technology is going to give it for contrast. When you actually have a feedback system that is video, then the video, it's, it's like it's capturing video and the video is actually tracking the faces as it's moving around across the, the frame and allowing you to lock. Now the other thing that's kind of cool about this is that when you're, uh, when you have multiple faces and you can actually hit the exposure lock uh, the focus lock button and choose another face that happens to be in it but here again is that 12 frame per second and so what I have on the Sony is I have it on continuous high which is the highest uh, 12 frame per second motor and then I have it on the continuous focusing and that is not like focus and recrop it's literally focusing on the fly that means if the 
the car was coming at me, it would be focusing without you having to pick the spot and freeze it and lock the focus point. And that's actually kind of a daring world to be on the other optical sensors. But when you're with a digital sensor, the digital sensor actually has quite a lot of good technology there that will pick this up. Now here, there's no face and it's object tracking, so it picks the closest thing and it does a fine job there. So we'll go through here and you'll see that you can go boop, 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 and these are all just very, very quick shots. And here I've got, I have the face tracking literally locked on the child behind. And so that's kind of handy because you can see right there it goes back and forth between the two kids. I really like this, by the way. This is the 85 1.8 Sigma lens, and the bokeh is very beautiful here. Uh, bokeh refers to what the image looks like outside of the focus areas, and this is why we buy very fast lenses so that we can have selective depth of field, but also so that we can have this kind of a look in the background, very watercolory, looks, looks like looking through a rain. Rainy, glass, uh, rainy window pane on a rainy day or something like that, or fog, not really fog, but other cameras treat, uh, other lenses treat this very differently. So a lot of tests is you, you'll look for a review of Boca, B-O-K-E-H. But anyway, this is uh, why I like the, the optical sensors. And uh, of course, the Sony A77 the Alpha series because they have drives that go this fast, have continuous autofocus, have object tracking and face tracking so that literally all you do is you just lay on the button and if the child moves, your subject's moving around or whatever, you can rely on it to do a better job than you could in finding the eyeball in the face and tracking that focus as this is happening. Okay? Have fun with that.